Hello, my name is Eli Martin and I'm a product specialist with HLA Attachments. Today we want to look at the features and benefits of this new skid steer laser grader that we have up to the machine here. So this is a grader style machine in that we have a, a cylinder for the right side, a cylinder for the left side control unit, allows us to do precise grading with independent control of the left and right side. At the base of what makes this unit unique is our swivel ball joint setup at the back. It's a, a ball joint with a shim system where as it wears, we can remove shims to keep that swivel point tight. Um, and when you get to a point where you have wore out the ball, where it's too small to remove more shims, you simply replace that ball, put the shims back in, and you're back to an OEM spec for your, your push-pull force. It's a, a really nice system that gets away from that uh, slop that's associated with wearing pins and bushings and so on in a typical pin setup. So along with that ball joint setup on the main pivot, we also use ball joints on our tie rods and our lift cylinders. So what that does, it's a heavy duty automotive style ball joint. It allows us to have an easy replacement part to get back to OEM spec. You don't have to worry about replacing pins and bushings, reaming out holes and, and everything that comes along with the, the pin and bushing scenario. So we use those HD ball joints at both ends of our lift cylinders and at both ends of our stabilizing tie rods. So the tie rods here is what gives you the fine tune adjustment for your, your blade pitch. The moldboard build here is unique in that we have a symmetrical moldboard rolled at the front and rolled at the back. It's a very rigid box beam construction. So that, that gives us a lot of rigidity for the, the core of our grader blade. On the end plates, this side piece is replaceable. If you were to hit an object and fold this up, you can simply replace that without getting a welder. At the bottom of the side plate, we have this replaceable adjustable AR400 wear bar. This allows you to always adjust to the bottom of your main cutting edge as your cutting edge wears. On both the front and the back, we have a replaceable reversible cutting edge. So you can wear out one side, turn it around, um, get a fresh edge and wear it again before you have to buy a new cutting edge. On both ends of the blade, we have this universal mast bracket. Um, a lot of contractors may already have great control systems in their fleet. Um, if they do, this unit will integrate the valve, uh, mass mount and so on, will integrate into that fleet and they can either get their own equipment for that or HLA can supply the mass mounts that we see here today. Moving around to the front axle, there's a few things that make this axle unique to HLA. We use tapered roller bearings in the axle oscillation pivot as well as in the vertical kingpins and the main wheel hub assembly. So there's nowhere on this front axle where we have a straight pin and bushing scenario that's going to get loose and start wobbling with time. So the tapered roller fit bearings will keep everything very tight. There's no room for any wobble in there. And that is all important to doing a very precise finish grade. One thing that's very important with this, especially on the vertical kingpin bearings, is that the tapered bearing system allows those wheels to spin freely. As you change direction, the last thing you need is for that bushing in there to get tight, the wheel not to rotate, and then it messes up your finished grade. We have an axle height adjustment here. Depending on the machine size, you want that frame to be level. And so this is where we adjust the height of the frame in relation to the axle. If your machine is taller or shorter, you always want the boom to be down in the cradle to be pushing. So you, you always bottom out the, the machine boom and then you adjust the axle height to level up the frame. Once you've leveled the frame to that point, you use the turnbuckles here for final adjustment. Because of the way our symmetrical moldboard is built, you have a bit of a distance gap between the front and the rear cutting edge. And so you use these turnbuckles to roll that blade into a perfect level position so that your front and rear cutting edge are precisely at the same level. And that way you can 
grade just as precisely in forward and reverse and you can just keep working your way back and forth across the chop site. The valve that is standard from the HLA factory is a Danfoss style ratiometric valve. What that means is that the valve is modulated open and closed as opposed to some other valve styles out there where you pull the valve spool open with electrical current and when you want to close it you simply release it and it snaps shut. So with that system you'll get more of a jumpy operation on the blade with this ratiometric valve opening and closing of the valve is modulated so you get a very smooth control for a precise finish. Typically, if the customer already has a grade control system for other machines in his fleet, um, this valve will work with just about any grade control software out there. A lot of the times the end user will set that up um, from their end to match whatever they have. If the customer does not have a grade control system already in their fleet, we have available this entry-level control system that will run a dual laser receiver system. It's a standalone system. It doesn't tie into the machine in any way. And, and the one that's installed in this machine here um, is completely standalone. All you need from the machine is a 12-volt power source, and the rest is all contained in the control system itself. Um, we have customer feedback where guys are consistently grading to less than a quarter inch of target grade with this unit. And that is the primary target application for this unit, uh, flat work prep for concrete. There's a lot of money to be saved when you don't over pour your concrete because your, your gravel prep had dips of an inch or three quarter inch in it. If you can level off that job site to less than a quarter of an inch variance, you can get by with a lot less concrete on a large job and that is exactly where this machine will bring return to investment for the contractor that has this in his fleet. I want to talk a little bit about the, the difference between a grader style control system and a dozer style control system. So this unit here, as we discussed, has independent cylinders for the right side and the left side. You simply extend or retract the cylinder based on what the control system is calling for. When you have a dozer style system, you typically have a parallel lift linkage and a single lift cylinder, and then an oscillation control to modulate where the cutting edge of the blade sits. With the dozer system, the two controls have to simultaneously work together to keep the blade on grade. With the grader style system, you can hold the one end of the blade rigid and vary the other end of the blade with the opposite valve. And what that allows you to do in certain applications, your operator might want to put one side of the unit in auto grade and have the other side of the unit in manual grade. With this setup, that is perfectly doable. Sometimes when you're, you're finished grading along the outside of a building or you're making a swale for a waterway, you set your one side to auto grade and you follow your laser beam and then with the other side the operator can vary that depending what he wants the, the swale or the grade to be away from that auto grade one side. So those are some of the differences between a dozer style and a grader style control system which also makes the HLA grader unique. For more information on this product or any other HLA attachments visit us at our website hlaattachments.com.